Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of The Dave Neal Show. I am losing my voice, so I'm going to try to keep this as quiet as possible here. Look, I've got this video we're going to talk about here. Victoria Fuller spotted out with a guy. Is it Pilot Pete? Is it not? This is peak barrel scraping. It's not a big deal. We're just here. Uh, we're, we're ma we make this content. You know, just to summarize for those that don't get what we do over here, it's never about the content, right? It's about the conversation, the community, and just having some white noise in the background while we, you know, uh, do the dishes or whatever it is that we do that's just mundane in our life. I'm here for you guys. You guys are here for me. Mutually symbiotic. That's the case. Yesterday, obviously, there was a just a real unfortunate event that took place in Texas. I'm going to talk about it in another video. Um, I already prepared this video, so that's why I'm going to make this. So I know you, you guys know I always cover everything that's either within Bachelor Nation or how Bachelor Nation is affected by other events that exist out there. So we're going to talk about that. I don't want you to think that I'm not thinking about it. I just want to let you know that we're going to also give you the chance to uh, enjoy content that's otherwise not as heavy, which is a privilege that a lot of us have and some of us don't today. All right, so let's get into it. Follow me on Instagram, dneals, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Um, I've got shows Friday and Saturday in Chicago. I'm going there tomorrow night. Chicago, Friday, Saturday. Uh, Instagram, I'll have the show information. We'll do a little meet and greet after my show Friday and before my show Saturday, if you guys want to come to that. So Victoria Fuller, sounds fun, but I have to wash my neighbor's cat and vacuum my driveway, was the comment. And it's a nice, fun little video. I do like her humor here. Um, nice, fun little video. When he tells you he is going to fly you out with his Southwest points. Uh, let's see the audio. We don't need the audio. So she's clearly unamused and it was uh, eye rolls. Now, to me, this is uh, this is clearly staged you know the fact that she got the photo like the fact that she's rolling her eyes in the actual um event that's happening here but people started to wonder is that peter and that's when we have to get our x-files music could it be pilot pete peter weber flying back into the heart space of victoria fuller and i personally don't think it is but from this little forehead shot it looks like a pilot pete right it looks like a pilot pete um and this one, not so much. This guy's got the uh, 5 o'clock shadow. We know Pilot Pete for his job probably has to be clean-shaven. Here's Pilot Pete. So anyway, we do the back and forth all day long. What do you guys think? Is this Pilot Pete? And for those wondering, oh, we have, um, you know, the the history. I guess I guess he had a 5 o'clock shadow here. Maybe if he, uh, you know, had the weekend off, it could have been him. Bachelor Peter Weber's ex, Marissa Pence, knows Victoria Fuller and just spilled all the tea. So Victoria Fuller and Pilot Pete have so much of a backstory. I can't imagine she would be back with Pilot Pete because Victoria Fuller, to me, doesn't seem like the type of person that um, uh, you know, goes back for second chances when something doesn't work out. Now, as we saw in their, their hometowns uh, uh, episode, if you guys remember this, it was just wild. There was a lot of... Um, fighting and, and jockeying to play the victim that to me is when whenever you see someone jockeying to play the victim you know it's not going to go well and of course um i'm not i'm not even placing blame but peter looked so confused in his conversations with victoria that it seems like that might be a common thread that men just leave confused like i thought what was that all about i don't even know all right so this is from back in the day obviously we're not trying to pull up all the old tea here, but it is the off season. So we're kind of, you know, we're dusting off the old uh, encyclopedia uh, batch, bachelor. Um, but um, she said uh, she just became a, se a very self-centered person. She was just acting crazy. Now, we don't like to use the C word and call people crazy, but this is someone else doing it. So we'll let that happen. Um, one of the reasons people love The Bachelor so much is that the show is constantly overflowing with drama. Oh, you don't say but, you know, it's reality TV. So when the drama spills into real life, fans are so, so here for it. Now, this article is from, what, two years ago? So this is a, this has been a couple of years, and it's still interesting to me. Backing up a second, Marissa Pence dated Peter for five months back in 2012. So way before his bachelor, bachelorette days, we had a great relationship. It was casual, and I got to meet his parents and his brother, and we would just, like, hang out at his parents' house. How funny that this the conversations for the last decade about people surrounding Peter Weber involve hanging out at his parents' house. Marissa also said she and Peter were friends for quite a while after our breakup, but then I was in a serious relationship, and Peter had started dating someone else as well, 
so we really didn't chat too much. A few years later, Pence moved from L.A. to Virginia Beach, and that's where she met Victoria Fuller through some mutual friends, and that's also where the tension between the two started. Victoria Fuller's real personality is basically the opposite of her bachelor one. Our first encounter was that she told me she was going to slash my tires because I was hanging out with one of her ex-boyfriends, Pence told the publication. Still, Pence was in the same social circles as Victoria as they saw each other often. Victoria, uh, Virginia Beach is a pretty small town. At time, As time went on, I became friends with a girl who was best friends with Victoria, and so we all kind of started hanging out, and it just became more of like a forced friendship versus like I wouldn't like voluntarily go hang out with her. I know how that is. Mutual friends, you got to be together. You hate each other, frenemies. Pence added that it was definitely weird when she learned Victoria F. would be vying for her ex's heart on reality TV. Obviously, I had my moment because I'm like, you could possibly be with my ex-boyfriend, and that's a little weird. But like, I never asked her not to go on the show or anything because that's silly. But we went out one night with for our friend Audrey's birthday, and it turned into Victoria Fuller's show because it was three weeks out that she was about to leave for The Bachelor, and she just became a very self-centered person. And we were all out for our friend's birthday, and she was just acting crazy. She wanted all the attention, and it was very distasteful. Okay, for me... If I'm going to be Judge Dave, that's not exactly, you know, rare that someone's going to make something about them, have a few drinks, me, me, me. So, you know, th this stuff isn't exactly, I don't know, uh, damning. If there were, if there is a guy she wants, she's like, he's mine. There's a one-way street there and no one else is getting involved. She just thinks that the world revolves around her and she's the hottest thing that's ever hit the planet. And actually the most disturbing thing so far of all of this was the lingerie episode that she just acted like she was this coy person. The people in Virginia Beach are even seeing that that's not you at all. You're always the one in the bar wanting attention. The info is coming from someone who also... Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Obviously this is old news. They didn't end up together. Um, and, and of course there were, there was also, um, uh, I guess, I guess, you know, we've, we've talked about this enough, so we'll, 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 um, just mention it. But, um, Steve reality, Steve said that he had heard from a bunch of people about how Victoria was bad news and had even caused the breakup of a few marriages. Again, no one ever came out with like facts and receipts of this. It was just kind of like hearsay. So I looked and I, f and I found, and I'm not talking about this happening once or even twice. The info I was, I was receiving was talking about her having done this three or four times. So maybe it's true, maybe it's not. We always kind of uh, lean on the, the 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 benefit of the doubt for Victoria. But what we get to see after being on the show is several years of sort of um I don't know uh, claims to be backed up. D does does this still happen? Is she happily trying to move on? I think she mentioned she was like a born again virgin going to church. Who knows? But of course she just she like controversy f uh, followed her. Immediately after the show, she did this, um, you know, this um, uh, photo shoot where she won the chance to be on Cosmo, Cosmopolitan, right? It was their digital cover. No offense to Cosmo, but it's like the digital cover. So here's her and Pilot Pete. But then that's when that's when it, it gets kind of wild. People find out she did this White Lives Matter uh, campaign, which, by the way, I'll show you the photos. We talked about this. Um, we've talked about this a lot in the past. Not to say it's not a big deal, but we get to see how how. Uh, society right now is on thin ice, right? But a couple of years ago, people were making jokes about things that you wouldn't be caught dead making jokes about now, and it's coming back to haunt people. Not to say it's right, but the fact that this actually happened goes to show that it was enough, like enough people didn't think this was a problem. Victoria Fuller modeled for a White Lives Matter clothing brand. Here's the deal. The White Lives Matter clothing brand was Marlins, White Marlins Lives Matters. Is this acceptable? Absolutely not. Um, it's it. it <laughs> am I going to pretend to know where Virginia Beach was on this matter several years ago? No, but they have Marlins, right? I'm laughing because it's so stupid. Marlins right here being used in the Confederate flag symbol. <laughs> Like what the hell? And this is all for like what a a a Marlin conservancy? I don't know, guys. It's just one of those things. At the time, somebody thought it was good. Oh yeah, I got a gig. Oh yeah, white Marlins. Okay, yeah, it'll be fun. Play on words, no big deal. A couple of years later, what the hell were we thinking? It's just a good example of like the times changing and trending in the right direction and not everyone's there at every moment right and again because of this Cosmo was like no 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 we don't want her on the cover now none of this has anything to do with the story none of this has anything to do with pilot pete it's just uh you know 
uh, it's just furthering along the timeline in the folklore of one Victoria Fuller. So let's see if we can read any of your comments. Um, I might not be able to get this right now. Oh, here it is. We got the comments. I'm running a little slow today, folks. Uh, Pete, Peter Weber, Peter, the pilot, the one we just watched a few seasons ago. Um, my dream is for Peter and Victoria to both be on Bachelor in Paradise this season. I just want it to be maximally messy, which could be the case. She's hinted that she'll be back on TV, and he said he was considering doing it last year, so that could be the case. I would love the dumpster fire that would undoubtedly ensue, but I don't think that's him, sadly. His hair looks weird to me, not like Pilot Pete's usual hair. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was Pilot Pete. Um, but anyway, people, uh, people want to know. People want to know. Who is it? Um, and in the end, look... Everyone, when it comes down to it, talk about Victoria Fuller. Uh, we talk about all the different ways we can redeem ourselves. When it comes down to it, we've all had like a cringeworthy past or a dating streak that wasn't good, or we thought we the world owed us something and we were bitter. We've all got this different uh, archetype, this different storyline that happens, and we can rid ourselves of that. It just takes time and it takes a lot of self-work and um, self-improvement. And maybe Victoria is doing just that. We all kind of get to the finish line at different points in times. So uh, here's, here's to hoping she's finding out uh, who she is and what she wants. Um, my boy, this sounds horrible, doesn't it? Um, but I, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to drink some tea. That's what I'm going to go do. Um, anyway, we'll talk to you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, in a little bit. And I've got more content already filmed, shot, ready to go on the Dave Neal show. So I'll see you guys out there. Um, let me find the right code. All right. Bye, everybody.